There's nothing quite like warm summer mornings. Walking barefoot in the dew-covered grass, the morning chorus of birdsong, and this special kind of quiet that's found only in the mornings. I've been anticipating this feeling. This magic in the air that belongs only to summer. I've been thinking a lot lately about how I would be living if I knew I only had so much time left. So many summers so many days. What would I be doing differently? I think I'd definitely be slowing down. I'd be looking up at the sky and listening to the music of the woods and the breeze through the grass. I'd be more present. Why are we always so in a rush anyway? What are we desperately trying to accomplish if not happiness? And is rushing and stressing and overworking ourselves really worth that happiness at the end of the goal if we lose so much of it along the way? I want to imagine that I received the gift of going back in time to this exact summer, choosing to live softly, gently, and with real intent. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. It's actually warm outside. It's the start of summer. It really feels like the beginning of magic, of a magical season. I used to hate 
summer growing up. I did not like it, but as an adult, I've decided to love it. Even when the days were 100 degrees outside, I would decide that it was going to be a water day and I was going to go run through the sprinklers and make popsicles and embrace it rather than be upset about it. And preparing for it is something that I look forward to all years. I love summer pajamas. Anything gingham, going berry picking, specifically for fresh strawberries, watching thunderstorms from your front porch, slowly reading Jane Austen or Emily Henry outside, and days spent at the beach going home slightly sunburned, and watching a film as you cuddle up and fall asleep after a long day of fun, and enjoying the abundance that the earth has to offer during this season, and so many hours of beautiful sunlight. Oh, I love this season. And summer cups. This is one of my new favorites. It says cafe on it. Look at how cute. There, guys, there's just, there's so much to enjoy. Something I always look forward to doing at the start of a new season is making a mood board. My process is finding photos that feel like how summer feels in my mind, if that makes any sense. I sometimes like to look at my life as a Pinterest board, and all the photos are little reminders of mental snapshots that I would like to capture this summer. I also recently learned the term glimmer, and it's the opposite of a trigger. They can be little moments that spark joy or have a positive effect on our mental health. It can be seeing a butterfly or the first firefly of the season or seeing the moon during daytime. So my idea was to fill this mood board with a bunch of glimmers, baby animals waddling in the grass, signs that say fairy gardens or flowers growing around windows and the feeling of floating on your back in the water as the waves slowly rumble under you. A thunderstorm rolled in, and hearing that first rumble of thunder right as the rain starts to hit the window is such a very sparkly glimmer for me. Very fitting as I was finishing up this mood board. And then, you guys know, I always start a new season with some new books. Surprisingly, none of these were available at my local bookstores, so alas, Amazon. I chose these titles specifically because I think they'll really help put me in the mood for summer. I got this idea in my head of hanging a basket by my bed so that I can reach for my summer books to read first thing in the morning and last thing at night instead of reaching for my phone. 
I know that that's what nightstands are for, but I just thought the idea of a basket is so cute. Don't you think it's something that Rapunzel might have? Or Anne Shirley? I think she would definitely have a dedicated book basket on her wall, and I think she would definitely romanticize it by adding fresh flowers and decorating it for the seasons, filling it with her favorite seasonal books. So that was what I was going for when I set this up. So I have no idea really what this is about. It's like old money vibes, south of France. I'm not really sure what genre it is. Oh, it's getting too bright. Now the sun is coming back out. We just had a rainstorm, but it is clearing up. It's so beautiful. But yeah, I know there's also romance in this. The one that I want to read after this one is this one. It's The Royals Next Door. The blurb on the back says, an ordinary summer goes royally awry when a prince and a princess move next door, bringing their handsome bodyguard with them. I'm a huge fan of books that have to do with royalty, princesses, princes, and it's set during summer and the cover is beautiful. So I'm gonna try to read these two this week. These covers, I just can't stop looking at them. It's been raining most of the morning so far, and I figured if I'm gonna be inside, I might as well teach myself and develop a skill that I have been wanting to learn and develop for so long, and that is making sourdough bread. So I'm going to harness my inner Anne Shirley and we're gonna have a good time in the kitchen. I have my sourdough starter that I got on Facebook Marketplace. I did that because I didn't wanna go through the process of making it myself and failing and trying again and failing because I know that it can be a bit tricky to start your own starter. So there's a lovely woman that I purchased from and her starter was two years old and I've decided I have two. I split them because I'm trying to do one with a different flower and just see how it goes, but I have Betty and Penelope. So we're gonna use Betty today. This is my first loaf, so I have no idea how it's gonna go. If it even rises, I feel like that will be a success. Stay with me, 
Hold me in your arms and swim me like the sea While the bread baked, I wanted to try on these new dresses that I got from Amantine, one of my favorite dress brands. I'm pretty sure half my closet is full of their dresses. They're always so elegant and feminine and also extremely whimsical in what I would wear if I was the main character in a cozy magical cottagecore book. So the bread actually rose a bit, which I consider a huge success because that was my biggest worry. But I did realize upon cutting into it that the texture wasn't quite right. It felt a bit too moist and gummy-like, but oh my gosh, it smelled so good. Oh, I've got my sourdough with some fresh raspberry jam. And I know that I probably way over fermented it and I also didn't have the Dutch oven to bake it in But I mean it looks like bread. It smells like bread. I just think the texture is gonna be off Mmm, That's good. The texture is a bit gummy, but other than that I consider this a success So I want to make a bucket list for summer I do it every year and it's one of my favorite things to hype me up for summer There is a really pretty town center here that has a bakery and a cafe and an antique store and lots of tables and benches so the plan is going to be head into town bring my sketchbook and instead of doing a traditional list i saw a photo of a bingo board i want to make a bingo board for my summer so that i can cross it off and get bingo i just think that's such a fun way to do a bucket list i'm going to grab my markers and my sketchbook tote bags water and we're going to head out Forever I'll live, forever I'll try Forever I'll run, forever I'll die Forever 